I'd like to tell you a little story. I know, you thought that since I was your virtual teacher, you wouldn't have to listen to any of my goofy stories. Well, you were wrong. In reality, you were just as captive to my virtual storytelling as you would be if you were in my face-to-face -face classroom. So here goes. In this story, there are these two dudes, Graham and Adam. Graham has some really cool MP3s he'd like to share with his friend Adam, but they don't have any computers. And there's another problem. The places they live are very far away, and there's a huge wall and castle between them. Along the castle wall is this really huge, scary dude who has this big, huge mole on the end of his nose. Everyone calls him the mole because of this. Anyway, the mole walks up and down the castle wall 24-7. Anyone who wants to get information across the wall must go through the mole. Okay, so I couldn't find a picture of a huge dude with a mole, okay? Anyway, Graham knows that he can give the file to the mole and he will get it to Adam. However, any time information has to go to the mole, there is a dire consequence. It's like dividing your assets. However, any time the mole decides to give you something, it's a good thing. It's like multiplying your assets. What in the world does this have to do with mole conversions, you say? Well, it brings me to this way cool chart I made one day after I asked my husband, who is a total math addict, to give, make mole conversions simpler for my students. Changing the scene you saw during the story, I can give you a method to remember the quick way to do mole conversions. Here it is. For example, if you know how many grams of a substance you have and you want to know how many moles you have, you would take grams and divide them by the molar mass of the compound to get to the mole. If you know how many moles you have but want to know the grams, you would multiply or mole to ply get it? Anytime you go from the mole to something, you're multiplying? Uh, I know. That was bad. Taking a longer stretch, going from atoms to grams, you'd have to first go through the mole, divide atoms by Avogadro's number, then multiply by molar mass to get to grams. Can you see it? 